So, Jokin and I decided to make a project of how a radio works and how the inform information is transmitted from the radio station to all over the area. To make this project, uh, we have decided to use the method of STEAM Classroom. This method consists of an innovative method that uh, the teacher says to the students what they have to do and from there the students decide and make their own uh, ideas. So um, this process is an example of how a radio works to transmit the information uh, to, from sound to carryable frequencies uh, by cable or signal. And this is an example of uh, Bilbao, a radio station that is located in Bilbao and who wants to transmit uh, its data to all over the area of both country. So this process consists of the pre the first part, what I'm going to explain, and the second part, uh, which starts in the second parabolic antenna, is going to be explained by Jokin. So first of all, we have to uh, the um, carrier where the sound goes, and this machine is divided in two parts, the mixer and the modulator. In the mixer, there is the input, uh, and there we only have to select the specific sound that we want. In the second part, in the modulator, uh, we have the output and uh, we introduce our signal to, uh, into another signal. So in that way, we are able to transmit uh, our sound uh, to the first parabolic antenna, which is located next to our uh, radio station. After this process, we have to take in quantum, uh, as I have said, that there needs to be a parabolic antenna next to our uh, radio station. This parabolic antenna needs to be looking to the other parabolic antenna that is, uh, in, for example, in a mountain uh, near Bilbao. So there has to be a transmission uh, into the both antennas. Uh, from the first antenna to the second antenna, the, we have the electronic signal. Whereas uh, um, there needs to be another antenna uh, in another mountain that it needs to be also um, near the area we want to transmit the information. And this, um, this uh, signal is uh, an electromagnetic signal. So from here, uh, it's going to be explained by Jokin. Now I'm going to explain how the transmission among the um, signal of the radio station goes to the signal of our house. I've learned this information thanks to the STEAM classroom Jose Cruz and Ricardo has explained to us more or less how does the radio frequency works and we, researching on Google or in several resources, have arrived to the conclusion of how does it work. First of all, the, as Martin has said, the signal goes to the antenna that is located on the radio station and then it goes to the radio station located on a mountain near the so the antenna located on a mountain near the radio station. For example, in Bilbao, it could go to the Archandas antenna. Once we have the signal there, another parabolic antenna gives the information from that mountain to another mountain that might be nearer from there than others. For example, Oi. And once we have the information in Oi, this antenna could be could do two things. The first thing is to pass the information to another antenna located also there and the another antenna is the transmission antenna what this antenna does is to pass the information to uh, all the um, cities or towns located near the mountain for example in the case of oi the towns located near the mountain might be Berriz, Durango, Lureta or saying in um, another words the Angalde this antenna, the parabolic antenna or OIT, could do also another thing that is pass the information from the mountain of OIT to mountains of other places, for example to Donosti, and it makes like an interfunction because the signal from Archanda to Donosti could not arrive perfectly, so it does the central point to arrive the information perfectly from one to another. The difference between the parabolic antenna and the transmission antenna is that among the between the two parabolic antenna the signal is something like this it goes so central in one point and this helps to be more
far and to don't cause uh, distractions among the signal and then what the frequency antenna does is to push the signal into a large horizon like this to arrive to the places that it can so now when you're going to listen something on the radio you know that when you push the on button the signal that you are reserving have been recorded on about three seconds before you're listening on another point and you know how the transmission have happened from the antenna of the radio station to the antenna of your radio.